be quite a spectacle. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. Borussia Dortmund have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through and it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? A fairly easy choice for me, this one, Aaron Ramsey. Um, what has helped him to elevate his game is the timing of his forward running. He's transformed his contribution from good to great since he increased his appetite for goals. And boy, can he score a beauty. OK, interesting. Forward it goes. Well, that's where he wants it. Chance to break. Torgan Azar. Borussia Dortmund have had plenty of possession, but few, if any, genuine chances. Dahoud. Hoists it forward. Meunier goes to the cross. Rangers have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposite roof! It's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Meunier. Steve Davis, Ramsey, Roof, and Roof! And that's off target. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong, make them right. Just little by way of goal mouth action yet. Ramsey. And it's played forward. Gets it back. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. It's believing too much in his own ability to hold on to the ball. And the whistler's gone for a reckless challenge there. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Players have gathered round and they are clearly concerned.
Dahoud. And it's Mernier. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Royce. Token Hazard. Dahoud. Dahoud drives it forward. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Finds himself eased off the ball. Ramsey. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Knocks it away. In comes the corner. And he's there to clear it. Zagadou, and it's played forward. Brandt. Gets wrestled off the ball. Brandt battles to win it back. Ramsey. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Out to the right. Borussia Dortmund showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Ramsey. Hoists it forward. There's going to be another change here. Talking as are. When you're struggling for numbers, you try to create that defensive compactness and conserve energy, but fatigue begins to play a much bigger role, and it may well yet make all the difference here. Some 
good stubborn defending there. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Witzel gets his foot in there. Into stoppage time, and it is still nil-nil. Meunier. And that is that. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, if this was a game where both sides played to their strengths, there could only have been one winner, but ifs don't count in football. But with that, it's time for me to thank...